Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I am cutting through the chase today because I am simply just I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> so I buy a lot of fruits and vegetables from the store. Big, nice red. Um, I was going to say grapes. Big, nice red um, onions. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't think of what you call it. And apples and oranges and all kind of things. But I buy them what called the manager special or rewrap fruits and vegetables. They come in a bag like this, and they're usually the whole bag is just like a dollar. You look at the big old giant things. If you weigh these, one of these would be more than a dollar. So you get a lot of savings that way, and I get a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, a lot of things. Most of you all know I garden, I have a garden channel, so I have a lot of vegetables and fruits and things, but off season, this is absolutely perfect. So why am I so excited? No, I am not excited about the rewrap stuff. Let me tell you, we are getting ready to make some apple chips. We're going to be making our apple chips with a dehydrator. This video is being sponsored by London Sunshine. Let me tell you, in the past, it has taken me three, four, even a week sometimes just to dehydrate my herbs. I've had other dehydrators. I still have other dehydrators. It's not just one or two, it's all of them. They're loud, they're noisy. We can't talk in the kitchen. My husband can't watch TV. If somebody comes in the house, it's like, what is that noise? They're just noisy. Let me tell you something. This London Sunshine Dehydrator that you all are going to see in a minute, it's so quiet. I'm like, I had to check to make sure the thing was on. I'm like, oh my God, mm, thank you. Because now, not only the stuff that I buy this rewrap, the things that I grow, I can dehydrate quick and in a hurry. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna slice up these apples because I'm gonna show you how to prepare them and season them up for the most amazingly delicious apple crisp. I'll be right back. And before I go ahead and slice the apples, I do want to say that you want to slice them thin, but I just want to show you, look how beautiful that apple is on the inside. And I got this whole bowl for a dollar, a dollar y'all. Okay, so don't pass up the manager specials, rewraps or anything like that, that your produce section may set aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice these. I just wanted to see how yummy that was. Come on now. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I have all my apples cut up. And you can cut them in any shape you want. You can cut them in slices or whatever, but I like them like this in rounds because this middle part, make sure any seeds you take out, but this middle part creates like a little flower and it just is pretty in there. I have them sitting in cold water. To this cold water, you wanna add a little lemon juice. This lemon juice is gonna help keep them not brown while you're waiting and while you're dehydrating them. It'll kind of preserve that color. You don't want to rinse this off. We're going to drain it and I have this in a colander sitting in a bowl so I can pull it out like this. Then we're going to pat them dry. Okay, so I have a baking tray here. You don't really need to put anything on it because it's just so that you can sprinkle your seasonings on it. And I like to go in and just pat them dry again. Don't rinse them off because you want that uh, lemon juice on there, but you're patting them dry just so they won't be wet. Give them a little head store for the dehydrator. I want to get these dried off and we'll be right back. Got the first batch going. Now, I just like to add cinnamon to mine. You can add cinnamon, you can add a little brown sugar, you can put whatever seasonings you want on there, but I just like to shake a little on them. It gives them amazing flavor. Choose the apples that maybe are a little sweeter so you don't have to add additional sugar to them. And that's it, just like that. So now, let's head over to the dehydrator. Okay, so this is the very quiet London Sunshine Dehydrator. It has the time you can set here and the temperature, and that's pretty much all you need on a dehydrator. This is your power button. Wherever you sit it, make sure you sit it where there's air circulating around it. Not just this dehydrator, any dehydrator, okay? And as you can see, it has eight shells in here. They come out easily, just like that. And along with these eight shells, you have four of these that would just sit right on top of it. These are typically used if you're going to do something like fruit roll-ups or anything like that. There are also four of these, and these are the same thing like for the fruit, fruit roll-ups, but if you have herbs that um, 
are really, really small and you don't want them to fall through these holes, you want to put this on top of it, just like that. So you also have four of these. So that gives you uh, four trays each. And then also too, once you get started dehydrating, sometimes you may need to rotate your trays depending on what you're dehydrating or just when you're done, it can be hot. So it also comes with these little uh, silicone grippers. And I think these are fantastic. You can grab your tray and they slide right in. You can grab it and pull it out. So that is absolutely amazing. I love that. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna set our apples right on the rack just like that not touching not touching but right close to each other so we can get quite a few on one we're going to be dehydrating them on 100 and right at 150 145 150 um and it's going to take quite a few hours so once we get this going we then will be back when they're all done. So that's what your tray should look like. And you just go ahead and slide it in. Okay, so you all saw how many apples I had in that bowl. You all saw how big they were, right? This is a huge dehydrator. I still have two empty trays down here. I can take these out or I can leave them in. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out because I'm not gonna use them. Simple as that. I'm just saying. This is a huge dehydrator, okay? <laughs> can you imagine how much food you can preserve and how quiet it'll be? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on and then we're gonna let it run and when it's all done, we'll be back. So the power is already on. I touched it again for the time to show as it was blinking. So then you press the time here and here's the plus sign and the minus sign for your time. Okay, so I'm going to set it, set it for um, actually 10 hours because they typically dehydrate somewhere between 8 and uh, or 6 and 12 hours. So I'm going to set it for 10 and I'll probably check it somewhere maybe like at the 6 hour mark. So it'll probably be tomorrow before we come back to check it and see how they did and taste them. Okay, so we need to set the temperature. So same thing. Uh, you need to press the temperature sign first, y'all, okay? <laughs> and uh, I'm going to set these for right at about 149 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Be back when they're done. Okay, y'all, one more thing before I go. <laughs> I know we are all about the functionality of things and how it works and how it's gonna cook. Let me tell y'all something. It looks good sitting on the counter. Check this out. Look, y'all, don't that look good sitting there? Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Look at that. It looks good sitting on the counter. Yes. Oh my goodness. I am going to be leaving a link in the description. So if you guys want to pick you up one so you can preserve your fruits and vegetables and things like that, discount code cooking 2023. Yes. Okay. Let me go because I'm excited. Okay. We are all done. They are looking really, really good. Now we need to get them off here. Look at that. They look so good. Oh my goodness. We need to get them out of there and let them cool. So I'm gonna let them cool and then we'll be back. Okay, we are out of the dehydrator. Don't they look amazing? Oh my goodness, you need to let them cool. That way they will crisp up even more once they come out of the heat. So make sure you let them sit somewhere for maybe about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30, just depends on how many you have. This is what I dehydrated. It is amazing. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description. London Sunshine, it is amazing. Let's not forget about our herbs that we need to dehydrate. And it's quiet. That is by far, for me, the best feature. <laughs> it is quiet. You can't hear it. My refrigerator is actually louder than it is. So. We have dehydrated our apples. Let me take a bite right quick. They are delicious. And as they sit, 
they should be pliable, but they should still be crispy. So you should have a little crunch to them as well as they should still be pliable. They shouldn't just snap. That way when you put them up, airtight bag, Ziploc bag, they'll be just fine. Mmm. These are delicious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.